there was actually uh, two posters um, on the longer term experience of New Zealand nursing. And um, you probably know that behind this uh, double blind randomized placebo control studies in type one, type two, but also from the earlier phase, there is an extension study that is called SHINE. And we got several data from SHINE. SHINE from the previous type one, SHINE from the previous um, type two, so from Cherish. Um, from the previous type one, I take as a very important point that uh, the proportion of, of patients who are finally sitters um, reached more than 50% of patients. And this is a very important point because as you may imagine, the question of the parents is not so much, is my child going to gain four points on the shopping tent? Or is my child going to be a sitter at the age of one year? I mean, they want their child to be a sitter uh, whenever it is, right? Um, and um, more importantly, um, they want the child, um, if possible, um, to be a walker or to be a stander. Um, to be a stander or to be a walker, the proportion of patients is extremely low and um, only um, 2% of, of patients. Um, but to be a sitter, um, it is now reaching um, more than 50%. The most important point is when you treat. And if you want to be successful, you have to treat early. And, and that's really what we must keep in mind for type one or even type two. Uh, the extension for, for the type two shows actually that the earlier you have started the treatment, the better will be the improvement and this translates also on several scales um, with the best efficacy achieved in patients who are younger than three years and half when you start the treatment there was also several um, posters on the uh, neurofilaments um, and it was shown that the drop in neurofilament um, during the induction phase um, will be a predictor of of how the patients will um, if, um, improve um, and how fast they will acquire um, the sitting ambulation, the sitting position. So now we have uh, not only a very robust pool of data that shows that now it, we can communicate with parents about the probability for the child to be a sitter, but um, it's very likely then in a coming future when when neurofilament analysis will be available on a clinical basis we could be even able to refine, to, to be more precise in this probability um, using kind of surrogate endpoints like um, the neurofilaments.